Hey, happy Friday to you. It is April 20th, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. That describes what it was like this week. For starters, it was the best of times for the Secret Service, who were sent to Columbia to prepare for the President's visit and to patronize some of those $47 hookers. You see, prostitution is legal in Colombia and remarkably inexpensive, but not, not, when you put it on your Secret Service credit card. You know, had these same hijinks taken place at the GSA conference in Las Vegas, it would have cost the taxpayers thousands. <laughs> and it was the worst of times this week for fans of Dick Clark. The broadcasting legend passed away this week, and I, for one, am worried that since Dick Clark has rung in New Year's Eve for as long as I can remember, I'm worried that now there won't be a New Year. Yet another sign that those crafty little Mayans are on to something. Well, hopefully the following stories in this week's news will boost your weekend into your own best of time. It has been a while since we toured the globe searching for odd stories, but this week they seem to come pouring in. So hop on board as we travel overseas to neighbors Germany and Austria. But first, first, a stop at the Portland, Oregon airport. the Friday Funny started a movement last week when we encouraged all protesters to follow the lead of that Colorado woman who was caught smoking at the Denver airport. We reported last week, you know, to protest, she put out her cigarette when she was confronted and took off all of her clothes. Well, this week in Portland, John Brennan wanted to protest an airport security pat-down, so he took, <laughs> took off all of his clothes. Attention, wait staff at Hooters. Are you being treated fairly? Perhaps you should protest today and let them know how you feel. You'll also get better tips. All right, now let's check our passports and hop on the plane to Munich, Germany. I love Munich, and I've visited there several times, but I've never been aware of a problem like this one. This week in Munich, a German man ran to the police station for refuge and protection. He wanted to get away from his girlfriend because he feared for his life. Now, the girl was not threatening him or endangering him in any way. She was, ju she was just demanding more sex. And apparently, Herr Wiener Schnitzel could not keep up with the appetite of his paramour. So just like Otis on the old Andy Griffith show, he went down to the police station hoping he could get locked into a cell to get some peace and quiet. The police had listened to him and they asked him for his girlfriend's address, telling him, hey, we'll fill in for you while you get some rest. Next stop, someplace in Austria. Let me warn you that this next story may upset some of our more sensitive viewers. If you are one of them, I suggest that you stop watching now. That said, here's the story. There's a town in Upper Austria that has a name that many people would find offensive. Name of this town is a seven-letter word. It begins with F and it ends in I-N-G. Yeah, that's the name. Well, Effing Austria, this is a town with their own Facebook page, by the way. They've decided to change the name of their town to something that won't have visitors posing next to signs bearing the village name and then stealing the signs. So the town of Effing Austria has decided to change their name to something that means the same but is more socially acceptable. So from now on, Effing Austria will be known simply as Kardashianville. <laughs> That's all the news I have for you this week. Please check out my latest blog at daleirvin.com and be sure to be with us next week when the Friday Funnies will be reporting live from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. See you then.